What's up guys, I'm C5 from the Beefy Smash Dudes and here are a few cool tricks with the undoubtedly best waifu of Smash, Wendy. Let's start by talking about her Mecha Koopa. In Smash 4, when the Mecha Koopa was touching an opponent, it would bounce up and explode shortly after. This meant that the explosion would often miss characters even if the Mecha Koopa hit them, especially if they got hit by a different move in between. But in Ultimate, the Mecha Koopa bites its victims and sticks to them until the explosion goes off, no matter what. This allows for some cool tricks. Wendy can attack opponents in between the bite and its explosion. Why is that good? Well, two reasons. Number one, the explosion can add extra knockback after you knocked someone away, which can sometimes lead to a kill. And second, it can be used as a combo tool. But now it's getting a bit tricky, because forcing the Mecha Koopa to knock your opponent back towards you isn't easy and it took us a while to figure out how exactly it works. If the Mecha Koopa simply walks into its opponent, the explosion always knocks them towards their back. If an opponent gets bit from the front, they simply bounce up and explode. But if they get bit from behind, they turn around mid-air before getting knocked back. Why exactly is that? Well, actually, characters always turn around when getting hit in their back by a weak attack, no matter if on the ground or in the air. Only if an attack has enough knockback to put a character into tumble, only then that character won't turn around. So back to the Mecha Koopa. If Wendy hits an opponent after the Mecha bit them from the front, the explosion will always knock them towards their back. So hit them into that direction to extend the knockback or hit them into the opposite direction with enough knockback to combo out of it. If your knockback is too weak though, your opponent will turn around like I said earlier and therefore also change change the explosion's direction. But if the mecha bites an opponent's back, they already turn around from the bite, which is why they get knocked into this direction from the explosion. You can interrupt the turnaround by hitting them early, or you wait a bit and hit them after they already fully turned around. In that case, they will keep that direction if your knockback was strong enough. So if the Mecha Koopa bites someone's back, it really depends on the timing of Wendy's attack where the explosion will knock them. After throws, the Mecha explosion will always knock opponents farther away from Wendy since they face Wendy while getting launched. But hey, at least the explosion connects. You know what's funny? This. Apparently, the Mecha Koopa stores the pushback from all kinds of wind or water boxes if it gets hit while you hold it. So as soon as you release it, all that momentum gets activated and the Mecha just flies off with high speed. The wind box has to hit the Mecha itself though, it's not enough for just Wendy to get hit while holding it. Is this useful? Probably not, but it's good to know. Another new mechanic is that the mecha now doesn't walk through shield anymore. Instead, it just falls to the ground and then disappears after like one second. But interestingly, you or your opponent can still pick it up after it does that and use it as an item. Keep that in mind, it can really lead to some good shield pressure. Okay, enough about the Mecha Koopa. Did you know that after using up special, Wendy has a different air dodge than usual? Before the day one patch, she was even able to air dodge multiple times without much lag, just like in Smash 4. Hmm, I wonder how that happened. But yeah, Nintendo did get rid of that pretty fast, so now Wendy can air dodge only once during her up special. She can't perform a directional air dodge during that, but the neutral air dodge is faster than usually, which is nice. Speaking of nice things, Wendy's side special jump now doesn't use up her double jump. This jump is a really nice tool and with your double jump still up, you can actually stall for quite a bit in the air. You could stall even longer on a flat-sided stage by bumping into it over and over again, but that too was patched out on day one of the game's release. You can still stall, although you will lose height slowly. Poor Wendy. Anyways, what do you think about Smash Ultimate Wendy? The Mecha Koopa change is kinda cool. Give us your thoughts in the comments and of course subscribe for more Smash Ultimate videos. As always, thanks for watching and thank you so much for another great year. See you soon and stay beefy.